everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create. We're working on page four and five. So this is from the pattern pack. <laughs> you know what, I'm giving up. I'm just giving up, I don't know what pack it's from. I'll just tell you at the end what I have included in everything. They, it's just so hard to keep them apart. With graphic, their patterns are so distinctly different because they don't put multiple colors in them. They'll put um, shades of a particular green, but they won't have green and red, and that's not how these other collections work. So they're much harder to keep straight once you uh, take the cover out and the flip side of the cover has a pattern on it, so you wind up using it. And so once you've used it, there goes there goes your um, your key for where the patterns come from. So I'm I'm stalling because I'm trying to put my hair up so it's not on my face. Uh, so yeah, we're on page four or five, and uh, we've got a pocket and a flap. So our pocket, I'll put my glasses back on. Our pocket is four and seven eighths, four and seven eighths by nine. You're gonna score a half inch on three sides to make your pocket. Okay. Hook, there it is. I don't know if this is my last Christmas album. There might be yet one more behind it. No, not positive. Page two. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I got the orientation right. I guess I don't need one, two, page. Whoops, I don't. This is wrong. <laughs> I'm glad I kept checking. I think, here we go. So there's page. Where I miss it? Here it is. Okay. One, two, three, page four. It's a good thing I ran through that. So this should be two, three, and this is page four. And this is going to go on the left hand side. Okay, here we go. Can set that aside, and then uh, we're going to add a flap. The flap is six and five eighths by eight. Six and five eighths by eight. You're going to score a half inch on six and five eight inch side, and that's just because I took a twelve by twelve and split it in half to six inches. So that means I just add an eighth of an inch to get our sixteenth inch border. There we go. Okay, this is gonna, nope, this is gonna go on top. Now this should be a continuous pattern and it is, okay, so this is gonna go right here. Sorry, they're the same, so I'm shuffling around a bit. This is going to go here. Like so. Okay, so before I glue that down, <coughs> we're going to add a magnet. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> right about there.
I don't know. I can't remember what music looks like. Nope, that's right side up. Okay, so that's in. This is going to go over here. Just double checking to see that I inked my edges. And then we're going to pull these two pages together with this plaid. a little sticky. More than a little sticky. It was quite sticky. All right, there we go. We've got our magnets in there. Okay, now we're ready to add this piece. There we go. So that is page four. We're going to repeat this process for five. I'm not going to do that on camera. Instead, while I'm still here, we're going to focus on what we're going to do for an insert. Set page five aside. So I really like this green, but I've only got one piece of it. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to look for a couple of things that are going to work for us. One of them was the pine cone paper I liked. And to me, this is the weirdest thing. I like the print, but to me it looks blue. Um, so it really doesn't go with the other colors, but I do like this. So what I want to do is I'm going to make two photo mats using these two pieces. So this will be um, one edge of the of the um, photo mat. Yeah, okay. So this is an eight by eight. So I'm gonna cut it at four. And then we're gonna make it four by seven. So this needs to be seven inches. Okay, so now they're both the same height. So I used half of the eight by eight for page four. I'm gonna use the other half for page five. I haven't trimmed it down to seven yet. And then we're gonna take what we have here and split it in half and share it between the two pages. Okay, this is six, so we're gonna cut it at three. Okay, 
and we're going to color block. So this is four plus three is seven. So we'll have a seven by seven square. Almost like I planned it. So because I turned the designer paper at seven, I'm gonna just make this seven and one eight by seven and one eight. And it should just fit on here perfect. Just need to ink it. And then we'll trim the green down ever so slightly to make it fit. So let's ink both. hard to make sure I'm putting it in right side up. I look for like a staff in the music because <laughs> I don't read music so the notes are meaningless to me. They might as well be in Greek. This is the way it goes. Oh, no it's not. This is the way it goes. Should have just looked at the flip side in the first place. Good, we need some ink. So this is our seven and one eight by seven and one eight, but it could also just be seven by seven, depending on the paper. Okay, and that looks lovely. Now I do want to put some other uh, inserts in, so I think I'm gonna add another card, and I'll do that also on page five. So, let's see. This is three and three quarter by five and a half. Three and three quarter by five and a half. Let's take a piece of scratch. Five and a half. So it needs to be, we're going to add an eighth of an inch. So it's going to be three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. These make for good journaling cards or pictures on the back. I like this one. <laughs> Something about that uh, lantern.
And of course, I'm just doing a photo mat, but you could turn this into a card. Then you'd have room for two photos on the inside and journaling on the back side of the card. Okay, that's it. I might wind up putting some more inserts in there, but that gives you something to work with. Um, I'm gonna go offline and finish page five. And I'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna mirror, of course I'll use a different card, but I'll put a card and a seven by seven into page five. So the last thing I haven't done yet, well, there's two things. I haven't done the cover yet and also haven't done page eight. So when I come back, we'll be doing one of the two of those, probably page eight, and we'll do the cover last, which I haven't done that in a long time. I've been doing my covers first. Part of the reason is because then I've got something good for a sneak peek, but uh, I didn't do that for this project. So again, I'll be back soon with page eight and the cover. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And then also I've got some cut aparts, some little cut aparts, that's probably not a good example, that we might be able to mat and add to uh, various places because this is relatively large. But I will um, come back to that if we decide to do something and I'll share that with you before I move on. Page five and six are going to be considered one video. So if I further embellish it, I'll add it to this video. See you soon. Hey everyone, it's, it's me, I'm back. And I decided to add a little more to the toppers here. So I've created these two mats and then I also located these two um, cut aparts. And I think on the flip side, I think it's, yeah, it's the advent calendar. So. On one side you've got the numbers and on the other side you've got these images. So I chose two that were mostly black but had a little red accent uh, to use here. And this is what I'm planning on doing. So I'm kind of fussing around with location of everything. I don't know if I want to have this overlap this far over. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm doing right now. I do kind of like this centered because I do think it makes it uh, pretty nice in terms of being able to get a relatively large photo here. So I keep going back and forth a little bit. So I, I think this is what I'm gonna settle on. I'm gonna have this element be inset a little bit and one's gonna be up and one's gonna be down and then you can still get a photo in here. So how far over do I want that? So this is the alternative, is to have it like so. Actually, I'm gonna do that, and here's why. I think that gives you more space for your photos. So I'm going to push this up and have this down. This one's going to come down. This is going to go up like that. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get that back down there. I'm going to leave this open so you can tuck a photo behind it if you want. So I'm going to start by placing the small square just by adding glue to two of the four sides. And then this is gonna go tucked in just like so. I thought some of it was gonna be revealed on the flip side, but it's not, so let's cover this all with glue. I'm going to do the same thing, just reverse on this side. Mm, whoops, that's the wrong side. It's supposed to be these two sides.
Okay, there we go. Now I'm done. Page four, page five. Back soon with page eight.